Good morning. I can't see the viewfinder because the sun is in my face. Um, today I'm doing a not very scientific uh, experiment about uh, ambient heat and friction erasure. Um, so we're going to have four different samples. I'm just using this little temporal thermometer. It has a um, like ambient temperature mode. So that's what I'm using. Temperatures are in Fahrenheit. I know that um, I'm not designing a very rigorous scientific study here that things could be done better, but I don't have any experience with the scientific method really. So we're just kind of trying to get a feel for uh, what to expect if you were to leave your friction pages out in the sun. Okay, quick midday check-in. It's lunchtime and I'm back home. Wrong order, but here's the dashboard. Uh, you can see pretty much everything is pretty gone. See, the dashboard is reading somewhere around 115 degrees. I don't know if that's right. The glove box looks pretty fine. And it's measuring somewhere around 91. This one in the sun in the backyard is actually looking just a little bit faded, not too bad. We're reading around 105. And the control in the office is looking great. Around 82. So as you see, this is my control. Um, I chose a few different colors of a few different friction products to test. So um, first as a sort of control and identifier, um, I have just a normal um, gel ink, permanent ink, Pilot G2. Um, here, let me pull out all of, all of these guys. Then I've got the, um, the clicker, the normal, you know, ball, roller ball, ballpoint in black, red, and blue. Then I have one friction highlighter. It's in yellow. I don't know if you can really see that, um, but it does say highlighter and then there's a little stripe. And then I've got the colors, the markers, in black, red, blue, and yellow as well. So this is our control. It was inside. Um, I would not be concerned about this staying inside and it looks like it's fine, nothing faded. This one here was in the glove box. Um, I cannot see a difference between the two and it was really hot in the car so that is something good to note um, if I have to leave my planner in the car on a hot day I would probably want to keep it in the glove box I did not test um, anything in like a notebook on the seat or something like that that may have been a bit more protected as well because there were things insulating it what really completely erased all the way was the one that was on the dashboard this one was face down on the dashboard of a black interior of a car on a hot day, parked in the sun, um, everything, as you can see, is completely erased. If you kind of hold it at an angle, which you're not going to be able to see on camera here, but if you hold it at an angle, you can kind of see what was written there. Um, there's a little bit of, like, the ink is still there, it's just invisible. So you can see sort of the residue of where it is on top, and I can kind of see a little hint of yellow here and blue here and red here. Um, also I can kind of see where, um, like the edges of the, maybe the paper is, it's not really an impression on the paper, I think it's just the residual ink on top. So don't leave your stuff on a dashboard unprotected, it will get erased. Then this is the interesting one, this is the one that was left outside. You can see everything faded a little, a little bit. Um, the black inks kind of turned kind of a brown color. They faded a little, the red faded a little, it's a bit more orange. The blue did pretty good. Just a little bit of fading from the outside in here, I think. And then the yellow is pretty much entirely gone. Let me pull it up really close. Yeah, it's really, I can only see it as much as I see it here. The yellow is gone, so different colors do erase at a faster or slower rate, or maybe a, a temperature control kind of a rate. Um, you know, like the red would probably be the next that erased, then the black, and then the blue. So keep that in consideration that maybe choose black or blue ink. Blue ink seems to be the best bet for long-lasting, um, you know, heat resistance. 
and yellow is definitely not going to last as quickly. So there we go. What I'm going to do now as a little bonus bit is I'm going to take all four of these and I'm going to stick them in the freezer overnight. Um, it's currently about 5.45 and whatever time I pick them up tomorrow uh, when I have time to film I will show you if any of the ink colors came back after being in the freezer overnight because in theory it might come back a little bit. Let's see. Welcome back. It's 10 in the morning, so it's been, I think, 16 and a half hours, and I just pulled these out of the freezer, so let's take a look. I haven't looked yet. Um, here's the control, exactly the same as expected. No changes. Uh, glove compartment. See, this one was pretty unfaded yesterday, so that's not a surprise. Here, this is the one that was up in the sun. Um, I don't see a change, really. The yellow is still pretty faded. Um, the red, if anything, almost looks more faded now than it used to, which doesn't make any sense. That's probably not true. But this one is really surprising me. So this is the one that was completely blank yesterday. This was the one that was down in the dashboard. Um, it was completely, you saw, it was completely erased. And the blue is completely back now. Um, here, let's compare it. To the control I can barely like the yellow the yellow came back a little bit the the colors um, but not really the highlighter the highlighter did not come back the red and black came back a little bit the blue mostly and these colors ones came back more than 50% so that is actually really interesting and I don't know what the difference is here because this one didn't fade as much but then it didn't come back as much. Like it basically didn't come back at all. This one faded completely, but came back almost completely. I don't know, I don't know what to tell you there. I really don't. So if anyone has an explanation for why that would be, um, I'm super surprised by this. If I didn't have it written down, um, I would think that I had gotten them wrong. <laughs> All right, so there is a surprising end to our um, experiment here. If anyone here has an explanation or a theory as to um, the behavior there and the difference between these two, comment that below because I would love to hear what you think. It might be worth a follow-up experiment to try to nail down exactly what happened there and how to um, sort of engineer your, your setup so that if you lose something, it'll come back. Maybe it has to do with the way that this was in the elements and this was inside. I don't know. I really don't. You know what? Maybe it was just that this was not in direct sunlight as much as this one. Maybe the sunlight damaged the ink more than the heat did. That's a chance. So that, I don't know. But in any case, um, you can, like the yellow, not at all. But you can get back some of the color, enough of the color, by sticking it in the freezer. Um, one time I accidentally relaminated one of my DIY dashboards and stuck it straight back into my planner, not thinking that it was super hot and the, the page right next to it was written in friction ink. So I lost all these notes that I thought I needed, that I did need, that I, I couldn't read it off the page because it was completely gone. Um, so I took that page, I stuck it in the freezer for a few hours, and I got it back, and it wasn't back completely, but it was back enough that I could trace over it again, so I didn't lose the information. So sticking it in the freezer, generally I wouldn't say is going to get it back to exactly how it was before, but it probably will get you back the information that you needed. So there you go, that's my tip for you if you're using friction ink. Um, avoid yellow if you need it to last and uh, stick it in the freezer if you lose something. So I hope that was interesting for you. That was definitely interesting for me. And uh, if you have any follow-up questions that I should test, let me know. Hopefully the weather's going to be cooling down, but we can still do these kinds of experiments. I think it's still going to get hot on the dashboard in the car. So uh, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one, so don't forget to subscribe. And the next video is going to be on Thursday, and it's going to be a weekly plan with me. All right, I'll see you then. Bye.